Are you thinking about starting a music podcast that you'd like to get onto Spotify? Well, that's this video, really. Simple as that. Hey guys, Stephen here, aka Mrs. DJ, with another video for the DIY Musician Guide. If you're new to this channel, I make videos just like this, where I share tips and tricks that'll help musicians just like myself get our music out there to new ears. If that sounds good, please like and subscribe to the channel. I recently started a podcast based on my live stream show on this channel. It's called OK We're On, and I'll link to it below in the comments. Anyway, after recording our 10th episode, I thought it'd be fun to list five reasons why I think you should be making a podcast too. I'm also go into things like how to make a podcast because you know that makes sense as well and do bear in mind that this is geared towards musicians because context reason number one is that you'll get to learn new skills now you'll get to edit audio which you're probably already doing if you are a musician but this is for a different type of content and you'll also learn all about the different platforms that content will go out to reason number two is that you can talk about your projects on your podcast now, I've always said that if you're not well known in your space, then you should celebrate your art because nobody else will. And why shouldn't you? It's great, obviously, that's the reason you're doing it. So this podcast will be another avenue for you to do just that. Number three is that you can connect with more people. Now, you can reach out to like-minded musicians like me and invite other musicians onto your podcast like me and share audiences. Reason number four, it can keep you motivated. You'll become more disciplined the more you attempt to keep to a recording routine. It's really satisfying and motivating to look back on what you've achieved with it. If you're like me, you can lose yourself to procrastination mode. So it's really good to have something like deadlines to keep you on track. And finally, number five, it can be another extension of your art. You know, like I always say, everything you do connects to what you make. Sort of like the way artwork connects to your music. So a podcast could be another extension of that. So now you've got your reasons, you're probably wondering, well, what's my podcast going to be about? Well, mine, for OK We're On, we chat about music topics such as uh, being a DIY musician or being a musician as a job, uh, ageism in music, things like that. But we also talk about music we like, such as The Beatles or Radiohead. And we even managed to talk about Barbie, which is a bit weird, come to think of it. The point is, nothing's really stuck in stone. Our plan, for whatever it was, was just to get started and see how it will evolve. And that's what I suggest, really, just start. If you haven't got a solid idea of what to do, just start it anyway and see what happens, see how it evolves. There's no magical moment theory that's going to come down and tell you this is how it's going to be. Anyway, let's move on to how we're actually going to record this mythical, amazing podcast that you're going to do. Is it going to be you in a room on your own, just record on your own? Or are you going to have guests? Are they going to be in the same room? Or are you going to be streaming this podcast over the internet? Now, for me, if you've ever seen mine, I live stream my podcast with my friend over the internet using a website called StreamYard, which streams to YouTube. I've got a video all about how to use StreamYard, so don't worry if you want to check that out. I'll link to that above and below. But basically, after we've finished streaming that podcast, I'll download the video from YouTube, extract the audio using QuickTime Player, and then tweak the outro and uh, the intro with a bit of music, and then upload that to my podcast host. A simpler solution for you, especially if you're on your own, is to use an app called Anchor, which we'll talk about now. Anchor is a super simple solution for making a podcast. It's a website and an app where you can create a profile, upload your podcast, and they'll get distributed to all the big podcasting platforms such as Spotify and iTunes. It's all free, and you can use the website or phone app version itself to record the actual podcast. So it can be pretty good for an all-in-one solution for podcasting. Now, I've been using it for mine pretty much from the start. And as you can see, it sort of acts as a hub for all the other platforms. So I tend to share out this link. It has a bunch of stats so you can view performances, etc. And you can also customize podcast thumbnails and descriptions, all that kind of thing. One thing I haven't utilized yet, but I'm thinking about, is asking people to send in voice messages that we can play on the show. It's a pretty cool feature, but I think I'll wait until there's a few more people listening. One thing I'll mention is that after you've uploaded your initial podcast it may take a few days for it to show up on other platforms i think it just goes through some verification checks but once one episode's gone through all the others go through really speedily i found anyway anyway do let me know if i've convinced you to start a podcast i know that spotify is going absolutely nuts about podcasts at the moment so it's a really good time to start anyway i will leave that there then as always if you want to see more videos like this please like and subscribe and if i've helped you out please consider joining me on patreon but for now i will see you next time in another video podcasting p-o-d-c that's a nightmare reference i don't think you would have got that if you were young 
or anyone else. So bye.